All right, this is the middle of August 2022 backyard update video. And today's the first day of the concrete construction. And so just gonna show you everything. The garden has really rounded out. It's just in that corner. Like the garden's in that corner. And then you can see the one garden bed right there. And the whole backyard is just really cleaned up right now. So you can see this whole side is gonna have rocks and concrete. And then whole backyard patio right there. Another pad of rocks back there that might get a duck pen. Not sure, I've been going back and forth. I've said them in different videos, like maybe a swimming pool, maybe a duck pen, because I gotta show you them. And here's just what it looks like to the front yard too. So yeah, the goal is to show what you can do on a suburban lot and honestly just following like people on YouTube that are making it happen in uh, suburban environments like this. So let me show you the ducks. We got these girls online from Metzger Farms up in NorCal and that felt cool just ordering them from a uh, California farm. Tractor Supply sells ducks also, but they don't, uh, they don't let you pick girls. So we just wanted to, you know, have two girls, keep it simple, order them online. And yeah, so currently the plan is probably to get a bigger pen. I mean, obviously bigger pen, but then put it on that back left corner where the kind of like gravel will be. The reason why we picked ducks was because we're trying to, you know, grow plants, obviously too. We want the duck layers, protein from the eggs, but ducks don't dig up your plants as much as chickens do. So that's kind of where it started there. And here's our mining setup we still got going on. So we're running two S9s. We're working on expanding our solar and get some solar batteries so that we can fully cover all our electricity usage here. And then we, whatever overproduction we create goes back into Bitcoin mining. And so that's kind of where the connection between like permaculture and Bitcoin goes is that you now have a way to monetize your surplus sun, your surplus energy that you're creating at your homestead and pour it back in. It's literally almost, it feels like composting to me. Like we're composting that extra electricity. All right, so we're in zone 9A and just gonna take you through the kind of calendar that we've done so far. And that's in January, we basically moved in and I did my first potatoes harvest from the buckets. And then March to April timeframe, I planted that plumeria tree, the grapes and the persimmon tree. Plumeria got it from a friend, the grapes and persimmon we just picked up, picked up from Louie's nursery here in Menifee. And then kind of May through July is when um, Shireen's mom really took over and she just like planted cucumber, beans, muskmelon, watermelon. And these things have done the best so far. Like I kind of did the March and April batch and then she did kind of that May through July batch. I don't know exactly when they went in the ground, but all the melons you see kind of pouring across the yard and that garden bed is her. And then August, this is what we just put in the ground. We did late pumpkins, squash, beans, cucumbers. And then September, really trying to think ahead for September and nail that correctly got about three rain events since putting in the cistern too and everything's working on that side that's been cool and we've been also filling up the tank from just the hose with this little inlet right here just to keep some water always on hand because then i'll show you the irrigation we're running we have battery timer irrigation set up on this. So I opted to not run electricity over here. And I also opted to not have the cistern hooked up to just the main irrigation computer in the garage that runs the front yard. Um, yeah, just gonna manually fill it up with the hose and kind of think about over time how much water I wanna keep on hand from the municipality and then kind of how much uh, is filling it up with rain. But the reason why I wanna keep it filled up with some is because we're, we are now running this whole back patch on gravity irrigation. So it starts here with just the gravity timer. Messing around with different settings. Currently right now I have it to run uh, for 20 minutes at like six and six um, every day because it drips like very, very small. Um, so just kind of still messing around with that. So yeah, you can see how the line runs over here and it runs to each plant down here. Like I said, the um, melons are definitely the thing that has uh, done the best for us. And we have a bunch of really good like tennis ball sized ones. So 
So that's one cool to see. Hopefully the cucumbers right here in this other patch. I'm gonna try to, this is the newest patch just planted in August. Pumpkins, squash, beans up the trellis, cucumbers. I'm gonna try to get the cucumbers to uh, just grow across the ground too, the same way the melons do. And then this tree right here was just a transplant from the front yard, trying to reuse that stuff. I should talk about our compost system too. I've been trying to just, uh, here's our compost pile right here. And just been trying to collect as much mass as possible of any kind and throw it in one pile. And that's kind of what led to being able to ground cover all of this as well. It was a mix of bark that was already in the front yard and chips from this tree that got cut down on a neighbor's property. And then just any like food scraps that we have left over was all just throwing in the pile, throwing in the pile, throwing in the pile so that we can cover this whole area. So yeah, you'll be able to see with the concrete in here, it'll be way more obvious just like what part of the backyard is the garden that we're just gonna keep pouring uh, pouring into the soil on. Talk about this quick too. Like this is how I think about everything, like all our systems overall. Like this is what we're doing. Bucket by bucket, this is what we're doing. Cause this is the first time that we've had a home that had a backyard. And this is actually just our second home total. And so let me just run through the list. For energy, we have solar on the home. We use Bitcoin to monetize our surplus energy. We're working on getting quotes for batteries installed right now. And then we use Sense Monitor to know just the stats on how much energy our home actually uses. Water, same system in place. We have a water battery in the cistern. And then we have the flume that measures how much water our home actually uses. Sharin and I both work from home. So we have a shared office and we both do our work from here, from our citadel, from our homestead. Child care, same thing. Nana lives with us and she takes care of Riot. And then as Riot grows up, we're working on finding alternatives to government schools. Meat freezer, we have the meat freezer. So we have a meat battery we're working on buying in bulk direct from farmers here in california garden here's the goal of the current garden is just learning how to do it honestly like it's shrin's mom nana loves doing it and i'm enjoying doing it with her and so i'm not really focused on like getting to the roi stage right now immediately it's just learning how to get things to sprout figure out how to do it and figure out what things here in zone 9a like i don't have to fight with the ducks, we just like looked around at what can we do with the footprint and the space we have available that can produce protein here on site. Duck eggs is what we're moving forward with. Community, we've met the neighbors surrounding us. We have their phone numbers and we're like working with them on how to just be good neighbors and be in good partnership together here locally. And then finances, like the whole reason why we're able to get this home is like because of honestly like saving in bitcoin and we didn't use the bitcoin to purchase the home but having savings outside of the debasing dollar is what gives us confidence to be able to kind of like make moves like this and then i also put real estate in this category because it's the most like tried and true way like in the us to have kind of residual income that uh has fair and good tax treatment and is a wealth builder. And so we were able to rent out our previous home, get this one with the backyard, combining that with Bitcoin is what kind of allows us to do this. So that's how I think about just the systems, like bucket by bucket, the systems and what we're doing. And here's a cool look down on the yard from up here. I'll get a better one for you. Down on the backyard from up here. And you can see the workers are starting to arrive to do the concrete. And so that's, what it looks like, the whole rectangle. Here's everything, here's everything as it's getting worked on. And I want to show you one thing. So each of these uh, little pipes that are sticking up right here are drains that will take water out to the front of the house and just dump it to the public drain. And I just want to show you that because that's the difference between traditional landscaping and kind of like permaculture design, which permaculture designers will do more like the cistern tank that we had of like, how do we capture the water and keep it here on like inside the soil here? Whereas kind of regular landscape design is like, we got to make sure that any excess water, you know, hits the pipes and floods out to the public drain. So like, and, and I understand all this. I'm purposefully kind of mixing systems here because I want to achieve like a lot with the small footprint that we have, but it's really interesting just kind of watching it as it goes. And I wanted to get another shot of this because I'm not sure I got it in the construction video, but here's where for the cistern pipe comes down here 
and then you can see how we kind of open it up a little bit because they had to dig and kind of cross the pipes right there but so this our cistern is called a wet system and so the water like that inlet right there is lower than this one right here so water will fill up the whole thing and just kind of waterfall into the tank Here's what this, this side of the house gets the most shade. I'm most ex I'm really excited about doing more of these beds and getting them all along this wall. And I think with where the patio is on this side of the house, we're gonna be able to do some really cool stuff with like beds and maybe an arbor like hanging over with there. So yeah, that's kind of the update during the construction.